Hello students, under the topic linear differential equation with variable coefficients. Here we have problem 2. Already in our previous video lecture, we have completed problem 1. Now here the question is x square dy square y by dx square plus x dy by dx plus y is equal to log x. Now in order to solve this equation with variable coefficients, we have to make a substitution where we will be substituting, so put the value of x as e to the power z. So we are introducing a new variable z over here in such a way that x will be equal to e to the power z. So from this we obtain z is equal to log x. This is because since x is equal to e power z, if we take logarithm on both the sides, log x will be equal to log e to the power z which can be written as z log e by the rule of logarithm. We know that the value of log e is equal to 1 and so therefore log x will be equal to z. And that is how we have obtained z to be equal to log x when we substitute x is equal to e to the power z. So after making this substitution, we should also put x is equal to, I mean x multiplied with dy by dx to be equal to capital dy where this capital d is equal to d by dz and also x squared d square y by dx square will be equal to d multiplied with d minus 1 of y so we are going to make all these substitutions in our given equation so the given equation becomes, now instead of x squared d square y by dx square, we will replace it by d multiplied with d minus 1 of y. And then plus x dy by dx has to be replaced as dy. So plus dy plus the, the y comes as it is, is equal to, now on the right we have log x. Now because of this substitution, log x has to be replaced by z. So, on the right we have z. So, now this equation becomes, so d multiplied with d gives us d square y minus dy plus dy plus y is equal to z. Now, we see that these two terms gets cancelled and we have d square y plus y to be equal to z. So, from this we get d square plus 1 because y is common of y is equal to z. So now we have obtained a differential equation with constant coefficients. So by making this substitution, we have converted our given linear differential equation with variable coefficients as linear differential equation with constant coefficient. And we have already learned how to solve a linear equation with constant coefficients. First of all, we have to write the auxiliary equation. And then we have to find the complementary function. And since we have the right hand side over here, we have to find the particular integral. And the final solution y will be equal to complementary function plus particular integral. So let us do all this now. First, we shall write the auxiliary equation of this differential equation. In order to write the auxiliary equation, we have to put d is equal to m over here. And so we get m square plus 1. And we have to equate this to be equal to 0. Now we have to find the values of m. So from this we get m square is equal to negative 1. And then from this we have m to be equal to plus or minus square root of minus 1. And that is equal to, we know that square root of minus 1 is i. So plus or minus i. So therefore we have complex roots. That is m is equal to i and m is equal to minus i. So whenever we have complex roots, we see that the complementary function is given by, so it will be equal to e to the power alpha z multiplied with a cos beta z plus b sin beta z. Now what is this alpha and beta? Alpha is the real part of this root and beta is the real part of, I mean imaginary part of this root. Now if you see there is no real part so therefore the value of alpha is equal to 0. So the real part is 0 and imaginary part will be equal to i. 
that is uh, the coefficient of y which is 1. So therefore the value of alpha is 0 and beta is 0. So therefore we uh, have the complementary function over here to be equal to. Now since alpha is 0, e power 0 is 1. And so we will be having a cos, what is beta? Beta is equal to 1. So a cos z plus b sin z. So this is what we obtain as complementary function. Now further we will substitute the value of z also over here. And so the final complementary function will be equal to a cos. What is the value of z? It is log x. So we will replace it by log x. So a cos of log x plus b sine of log x. So this gives us the complementary function. Next we shall find the particular integral of this differential equation. So the, part so the particular integral of this equation will be 1 by d square plus 1 multiplied with the right hand side which is z. Now we have to rewrite this as 1 by 1 plus d squared multiplied with z and this will be equal to it can be written as 1 plus d square the whole power minus 1 this since 1 plus d square is in the denominator I can rewrite it as 1 plus d square the whole power minus 1 multiplied with z now this I have to expand by using the binomial theorem and the formula will be 1 by x the whole power minus 1 which is equal to we will be having 1 minus x square. So it goes on like that the formula. So now the here it will be equal to 1. We have uh, at the place of x we have d square. So it will be 1 minus. I mean uh, this will be 1 minus x. And then plus x square. The formula goes on like that. So this is minus x. So therefore we will substitute in this. So 1 minus here we have x at the place of x we have d square so 1 minus d square and it will go on like this I am stopping here because here we have the function as z so when we differentiate it once itself it will become 1 and after that its differentiation will become 0 but here we have d square which is second differentiation of z which is obviously 0 when this itself is 0 the next remaining terms will also become 0 for that reason I am just stopping it. And that will be equal to when 1 is multiplied with z, you have z. And minus d square of z is 0. So we need not write it. And therefore we have obtained the particular integral to be equal to z. But what is z? It's equal to log x for by our substitution. So therefore the particular integral is equal to log x. Now we will write the general solution which is y. That is equal to the complementary function plus the particular integral. Substituting the complementary function that is we have obtained the complementary function as a cos log x plus b sin log x. So let us substitute this. So y will be equal to a cos of log x plus b sin of log x. And then we have to add the particular integral with this complementary function. And particular integral we have obtained to be log x. So plus log x. So this gives us the general solution for the given partial differential equation. So hope you have understood how to solve a partial, I mean uh, for the given linear differential equation with variable coefficients. So uh, this is how we have to solve. We have to first make a substitution and convert it as a, a linear differential equation with constant coefficients. And then we can solve easily by using the method that we have learned previously. So continue, we will continue problem 3 in our next video lecture. So kindly follow the next video lecture for problem 3. Thank you.